Hi friends, welcome to today's class. Today's question is: A shopkeeper has 40 kilograms of rice. He sells a part of it at 20 percentage profit and the rest at 40 percentage profit. If he gains 25 percentage on the whole, find the quantity of each part. So, what is the question given here? A shopkeeper is having 40 kilograms of rice, and he is actually dividing it into two parts. So we don't know. So let us uh, just assume it as x and y. Okay, x kilogram and y kilogram. The so 40 kilograms is divided into x kilograms and y kilograms. Then x kilograms is sold at 20 percentage profit, and y kilograms is sold at 40 percentage profit. Okay, and overall he is gaining a profit of 25 percentage. Then what is x and what is y? So that's the question here. So a combination is taking place here. Twenty percentage profit and the forty percentage profit are combined together to get an overall profit of twenty-five percentage. Since here we are having a combination, we can use the rule of allegation. So what is the rule of allegation? We know that the rule of allegation states that if x and y are combined together to form z, then The proportion of x is to y will be given by the difference of y and z is to the difference of x and z. That is, x is to y. The proportion of x is to y will be given by the difference between y and z is to the difference between x and z. Same rule we can use here. Here, one part is sold at twenty percentage profit. Second part is sold at Forty percentage profit. So this is x and this is y, and overall profit is twenty five percentage. So the proportion of x is to y will be given as the difference between twenty five and forty is fifteen. The difference between twenty and twenty five is five. Therefore, it will be three is to one. So we are having x is to y in our question will be given as three is to one. That means three parts should be sold at twenty percentage profit, and one part should be sold at forty percentage profit. So what's asked in our question? We have to find the quantity of each part. Therefore, we'll be getting quantity of x is equal to three by four into forty kilograms, and quantity of y is equal to one by four into forty kilograms. So we'll be we'll be getting. X is equal to 30 kilograms and Y is equal to 10 kilograms. So that is our final answer. Example number two: A merchant has 24 kilograms of rice. He sells a part of it at 10 percentage gain and the rest at 6 percentage loss. If he incurs 4 percentage loss on the whole, find the quantity for each part. So it's a similar kind of question. So 24 kilograms is divided into X and Y. And x is sold at 10 percentage gain, and y is sold at 6 percentage loss. So we can write it as minus 6 percentage. Since it is a loss, we'll be representing by a negative sign, and the profit will be represented by the positive sign. And all together, he is getting a loss of 4 percentage. So it can be represented as minus 4 percentage. So we can find out x and y by using the rule of allegation. So 10 Percentage and minus six percentage combined together is giving minus four percentage. So we will be having x is to y will be given as the difference between minus six and minus four is two, and the difference between ten and minus four is fourteen. So x is to y will be given as one is to seven. So x is to y is equal to one is to seven. Our question is to find out x and y. So we will be getting x is equal to 1 by 8 into 24, and y is equal to 7 by 8 into 24. So x will be getting as 3 kgs, and y will be getting as 21 kgs. So that is the final answer. Example number three: A person bought two chairs for rupees 1,100. He sells one at five percent age loss and other at six percent age profit. On the whole, he neither he neither gains nor loses. Find the cost price for each. So analyze the question. 
the person he bought two chairs for rupees 1100 so we don't know the price of each chair so let the price of one chair be x and the price of the second chair be y so we are having x plus y is equal to 1100 it is given that one is sold at 5 percentage loss so let x be sold at 5 percentage loss since it is a loss we will be representing by a negative sign so x is sold at minus 5 percentage loss and y is sold at 6 percentage profit so it will be plus sign on the whole he neither gains nor loses so what is the meaning of that statement so when a loss of minus 5 percentage and the profit of 6 percentage are combined together he is neither gaining nor losing that means we can write it as 0 percentage he is not having any gain percentage and he is not having a loss percentage too so it is actually 0 percentage so what is x and y so that's a question here so since this is a combination we can very well use the rule of allegation so according to the rule of allegation we can find out the proportion of x and y by using minus 5 percentage and 6 percentage combined together to get 0 percentage and then we will be having x is to y will be given as the difference between 6 and 0 is given by 6 the difference between 0 and minus 5 will be given as 5 so x is to y is equal to 6 is to 5 our task is to find out x and y so x will be given by 6 divided by 6 plus 5 11 6 by 11 into 1100 since the ratio of x is to y is given as 6 is to 5 and y will be given by 5 divided by 6 plus 5 that is 11 into 1100 therefore final answer is x is equal to 6 into 100 it will be 600 and y is equal to 500 So rupees six hundred and rupees five hundred will be the x and y. That is the cost price of each chair. So our final question for the day is: A person buys two books for rupees thousand. He sells one at a loss of five percentage and other at twenty percentage gain. On the whole, he gains rupees fifty. Find cost price for each. So a person he is buying two books. Uh, the total cost of the two books is rupees thousand. So we don't know the cost price of each book. So let the cost price of one book be x and the cost price of the second book be y. So x plus y is equal to thousand. And one book he is selling at the loss of five percent days. So let x be sold at a loss of five percent days. So since it is a loss, we have to give a negative sign. So this is minus five percent days. And the second book he is selling at a gain of twenty percent days. So y is sold at the gain of 20 percentage, and when these two are combined together, he is getting a gain of rupees 50. So our challenge here is, we know that if we want to use the rule of allegation, all the three quantities represented here, this first quantity, second quantity, and the uh, mean quantity, or the resultant of the combination of the first two quantities, all the three should be representing the same thing. Then only we can use the rule of allegation. So here you can see rupees fifty that is representing the profit. It is not representing the profit percentage or it is not given as a percentage. So our first thing is we have to find out the profit percentage by using the profit given. So we know profit percentage is equal to profit divided by cost price into hundred. So it's a very simple formula to remember. So here we'll be having profit percentage is equal to 50 divided by 1000 into 100. So we'll be getting 5 percentage. Now we can very well use the rule of allegation. So minus 5 that is a loss of 5 percentage and the gain of 20 percentage when combined together is giving a gain of 5 percentage. All the three are in percentage now. So we can use the rule of allegation. The difference between 20 and 5 is 15. The difference between minus five and five is ten. So we know this is x and this is y. So our ratio is x is to y is equal to three is to two. So we will be having x is equal to three divided by three plus two, that is five. Three by five into thousand. So it will be given as five and thousand. We can cancel out. So here we will be getting 
200 and so 200 into 3 is equal to 600 and y will be given as 2 divided by 3 plus 2 since the ratio is given as 3 is to 2. So 2 by 5 into 1000 it will be equal to 400. So rupees 600 and rupees 400 is our final answer. So thank you for watching.